Interval recording is when we use a clock or a timer to tell us when to record. Normally we're recording when we see a behavior. In interval recording, we let the clock or timer signal tell us to now record. There are two ways we could do this. The first one's called partial interval recording. In partial interval recording, we're going to record if the behavior occurred at any time during that interval, even for a second. So we start our timer and we start observing the student. As we observe the student, every time we look over there, look at them, if they're engaging in that behavior at all, we know we're gonna say yes at the end of that interval. The interval comes to an end, we put a yes or a plus mark, and we start watching again. And we do that through the whole period at every interval. Now, why would we want to use partial interval system? Well, our big advantage is it allows us to account for really low rate behaviors. Those behaviors that don't happen very often, this will capture them. And once we see the behavior, we don't have to keep watching. So that makes it more efficient for us. The disadvantages, it's gonna tend to overestimate the behavior. It's just an approximation. And you've gotta use that timer. Still, when you set that timer to go, you're not gonna to have to watch all the time, so this is more efficient than simply doing some sort of a duration or a frequency count. Now, the label on this is always going to be percentage of intervals. What percentage of intervals did we see that behavior? It's not percentage of time because we don't know about all the time. All we know is during what percentage of intervals did we see that behavior. Boys and girls, you have in front of you a math riddle, all right? So you're going to take and answer each math problem, compare the answer you get to the letters down below and put the letters up on top, okay? All right, begin. You'll notice in that last video of the partial interval, the teacher's watching the student. When the student is off task, the teacher knows at that point they don't need to keep looking at the student. They wait for that buzzer to go off. When the buzzer goes off and says your time is up, then they record. So once they notice that the behavior has occurred, they don't have to keep watching through the entire interval. 